my first attempt at a car tutorial. I am your chaperone, 3W67, and today, hopefully, I will be showing you how to basically get your car started in R Factor. Let's begin. What I'm going to do here is start with the Lienz Venom, use that file structure, and then start changing that structure over to my test car. So I'm going to call it just test car for this purpose. I copied, I've already copied, and renamed to the Lienz RFM to test car. Let's open it up. So we have the track filter, and to be honest for right now, uh, unless you have a specific tracks you want to do, I usually leave that alone. So I rename them to test car, and then the safety uh, car I leave alone, and then the vehicle filter, I I'm going to call it test car. Uh, it could be, if you look at it, you know any other RFM you might have, you'll see uh, you know, every, every vehicle has its own unique vehicle filter. If this was a mod like our F1 stock car uh, that has shale and tarmac, you know, then that, that's you, you can see you can do whatever you want. But for for this purpose, we're just going to go ahead call it test car. We're going to rename that. I already made a little icon for it just so I know that it's definitely loaded. Because uh, sometimes with uh, the R Factor UI, it doesn't always cooperate. So I'd like a little reassurance. So let's go into the main file structure right now. And I've already copied the Venom folder, pasted it back in, and renamed the folder, folder Test Car. And then all of these files will need to be renamed Test Car. And I usually tend to leave, you know, if this was Venom underscore cams, I'll just replace the Venom with the Test Car. So once you have all these files renamed, there are a few files you do have to go in and, and the files and then rename inside those. Uh, the gens, uh, the upgrades, uh, the HDV. So we'll, we'll start with the HDV. And since I've already gone in and renamed everything, what I like to do is when it's not renamed, I will then search for You'll get the point. So we'll find next, and that will be Venom tires, etc. So then I'll replace it, go to the next one, replace it. Uh, nine out of ten times, it's all going to be Venom something or another. Uh, if not, just replace all, consider it done. Uh, and you can scroll real quick and see ever so often. You just kind of have to look through the lines because there's a bunch in here the suspension, the engines. Yeah, I am not a car person, so if I miss something, sorry. But this at least hopefully gets you in the right direction. Uh, cockpit engine, gears, don't care. Spinner. Now, since the car we have in game right now is going to be straight up the Venom, uh, you want to start importing your own objects and textures into this file structure. So what I like to do, uh, I do this on my tracks, if you've ever used my test folder in my tracks, I have a GMT and a texture folder. Uh, for cars, I just throw everything in one folder if I'm working on a single car. If I need multiples, uh, I'll use multiple folders, but most of the time with cars, I just use the GMT's folder. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, so you'll see in here, you'll see search path, vehicle directory, and this is for the spinner. What we're going to need to do is add in, first we need to t change you know, the test car. Uh, the Venom Venom mass to test car mass. And then we also need to add in a search path for this GMT's folder. Because if we drop them in there, our factor won't notice. And we can't have that. And GMT's. So now that's going to search the test car folder and the GMT's folders for any textures or uh, GMT's. So let's go ahead and save that. These are the only lines up here that we'll have to adjust right now. Uh, we'll come back to this file later, but uh, let's see. Same thing here. We need to change, you know, Venom, Venom to test car. 
Uh, and since we need the GMTs folder, same as before, so we'll just go back to the spinner, copy that, open the upgrades back up, Whoop. and save that. Now that we've gone into the HDV, the spinner, and the upgrades, just one last thing. Before we can start importing, we go into the skins, go into the test car. Let's open up the VEH, which obviously I've already renamed. And then you have to go in, put in your new texture, so test one DDS, and then rename all this just like the other one. The HDV, you know, all your new files are named test car. So I just do the same thing, replace. Uh, make sure you have classes, test car, test car. Let's go ahead and close that. Now this was called RC1. To get started, I just renamed it to skins. Just get rid of all the cars but the one. Because once you get your first VEH made, then you can start doing other cars off that VEH. I, I, it's a pain to have you know 20 skins in there, 20 VEHs in there, and have to alter each one. So it's easier just to have one. Once you get it made, then you can copy and paste off of that one. So now we have the VEH done. We have the GMT and the skin in. Now we can try to put that in game. So let's open up the spinner file. Since the GMT is called body, I'm just going to assume that it's the main body of the car. So what we're going to do is swap out. Let's see what the name temp body. We will swap out this line for this GMT for my GMT temp body will leave everything else the same uh, we're just trying to get it to work control s to save now you don't really I run in windowed mode because if it crashes then it's easier to to close out so I don't have to control delete all the time all we have to do is swap to a different mod real quick go back to the car and there we go uh, I overdid the box just so you know that, no doubt about it, we swapped out the GMT. You can see parts of the car are missing. The boot and the front grill and everywhere. But since I used WC Car Body on the box, you can see the template did apply to it. And from this point, once you obviously get your first GMT working, then you can start working on the rest, which will be depending on how many parts you have you know, is how many lines you're going to need. And then also uh, the wheels. Looks like this car has upgraded wheels. If you only are going to have one set of wheels for uh, the car, you could just put the GMT here. I would look at other cars that might have one set of wheel, like the stock car, or, uh, any mod that, you know, I can't think of any other off the top of my head. But look at that and you'll see that file format. Hopefully this got you off on the right foot. I'll say it again, I'm a track guy. I do dabble with cars from time to time. So I have done this before. It's just not something I've done like tracks. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here over my forum, nsrs.jellcentral.com. If you're feeling froggy, give me a like or subscribe to my tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching.